What's going on guys? Um, I hope that uh, you guys are staying safe out there with the uh, coronavirus and everything going on, which is just absolutely shocking and devastating and indescribable. Uh, but I hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, continued the zombie thon movie reviews here. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. I actually traveled uh, to, uh, you know, recently, if you check out my vlog, uh, me and Ashton. But uh, with this, uh, it's been kind of put on hold a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one uh, of these. It's kind of hard for me to uh, stay so specific here. And well, it better be a zombie movie. Uh, it's just been kind of difficult for this. Uh, I like to work a little bit more sporadically. So this might be my last zombie uh, movie review for this. Uh, not saying ever, but for this zombie thon thing. I don't think it's worked out very good, but I'm gonna, you know, do at least one more. Uh, it has been a while since I've watched it. I kind of watched it a few months ago, so I'm not gonna be very detailed with this. Um, but the movie I will be reviewing is uh, Bruno Matai's Hell of the Living Dead. Dead was released in 1980. Uh, it's an Italian Euro zombie film. Uh, very much, you know, like Locio Fulci zombie or, you know, something of that nature. Uh, but this is very much a, uh, has a lot of stylistic homages or ripoffs, if you will, to George A. Romero's original Dawn of the, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Down to uh, certain character choices uh, and costume choices obviously and uh, some of the ways the zombies look are very comparable um, that blue kind of you know pale look is pretty much the look in this uh, film as well uh, they even have goblin with the certain songs from dawn of the dead are in this film so uh, it was very very marketed or whatever to be in the likeness of the you know Dawn of the Dead movie that Romero made. Um, so, w with that being said, uh, you know the plot's just basically like a SWAT team. Very familiar. Where's that from? Uh, kind of go. I don't really know. They're going around just basically trying to fight off the, this this virus that breaks out. It, and, and this is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, a virus somehow I think it breaks out and, and, and it you know at this laboratory they're at like a chemical plant or something and uh, you know infects the, the, the scientists and the technicians and everybody around the area and, and it just spreads like wildfire you know And uh, the SWAT team's just kind of in there taking them out uh, as much as they can, doing things. Uh, they go to a jungle and they meet up with this journalist uh, who's who's a really good actress, by the way. I'll have to put her name right there. I don't know where the actress's name, but she's actually really good in the film. And like, you know, a lot. Not she's not you know, like a typical, you know female in like an old horror movie where she's just you know she is a, like 
she's pretty damn good looking but but no that she's a she's putting on a very good performance in this and actually kind of like definitely outshines acting ability compared to everybody else in the whole picture the guys whoever um and then she's with her uh cameraman the whole time who i think they're dating i i don't know and uh so it's kind of like this conflict between them as they kind of go through this jungle trying to you know escape i guess this virus of zombies uh that keep attacking them um you know and uh it's pretty gruesome along the way. I enjoy the hell out of this, to be honest with you. It, it's got its flaws. It's 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 really you know B movie. Uh, some of the dubbing in this is really bad, um, but you know for all its bad kind of cheesy moments, I mean I absolutely love the gore in this. The way they handled things back then with the gore, like they hung on the gore, and it was so much more. I don't know why, I just see it as so much more real. It just seems like you're just watching real <laughs> violence to me. More so than if it were the way it's edited now and, and sometimes even animated and stuff. Like it just, something about this just seems so fucking real to me um, that it's like, wow. Um, you know. And, uh, and it's just very shocking. Like it, it's the type of, it's not like a thing where, okay, you see somebody get shot in the head and the brains splatter everywhere. Sure, I'm, that happens a lot in this movie. And that's like very shocking in something like The Departed, you know, with Martin Scorsese and Leo DiCaprio's film, you know. But with this, it's like, okay, you see the brains splatter, you see this and that, but th there's just moments where like eyeballs pop out and shit where, you just don't see that coming and it really gets you like what the fuck you know because it just goes on and on and uh that's the kind of stuff i love especially about like you know the kind of movies that i promote here uh, there's something a little bit more special about the way they did violence and gore back then and how they did it in a very re almost almost so realistic i think that that it's like difficult to like watch like the like it, it it's very like uncomfortable at some points i don't think nowadays in movies they go for uncomfortable kind of gore they just kind of go over the top action kind of style like you know like the walking dead or something where it's cool but it's not going holy shit is that gonna like end soon <laughs> you know um I don't know. I had a lot of I had a lot of fun with this film. Uh, like I said, it's kind of been a while since I watched it, but uh, Bruno Mattei's Hell of the Living Dead. I really recommend it, uh, especially if you like Dawn of the Dead or any kind of <laughs> George Romero film, or you know, or you like uh, Lucio Fulci films, or maybe Dario Argento films. I mean, it's one of those movies where uh, you're not going to be disappointed actually um, with it. You know, maybe, maybe a couple parts. Uh, it drags. It's a little hard for me to pay attention to it at, at certain points, I think, because um, the, the plot gets a little dragged to your, like, what's happening? Zombies, you know? So uh, in that department, it maybe lacks. Um, and like I said, there's just some funny kind of explanations for things and moments where you kind of question stuff, but uh, I, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's a good film, guys. Check it out. Uh, Hello, Living Dead. Anyway, um, I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, peace the fuck out, everybody.